guys, as promised, we are back at the Autel Robotics booth. And this is the home of the Evo 2, just released yesterday in three versions, three interchangeable gimbals, 41 minutes of flight time. And this is exactly what the drone world has been asking for ever since DJI launched the MP2, sorry, the Mavic 2 Pro and the Mavic 2 Zoom. Everyone was asking right away, is the, are the gimbals going to be interchangeable? DJI's answer, well, no, not really. Autel's solution, yes, they are. And the best of it is there's actually going to be an 8K gimbal. We're going to go inside right now and talk to them and hopefully fly this little beast. As promised, we are in the Autel booth and we are with Tim Matthews, Creative Director for Autel Robotics, and he's going to walk us through what is the Autel Evo 2. It came out yesterday, we don't have a shipping date yet, uh, but this is taking the drone world by storm because it's exactly what everyone's been asking for with increased flight time and swappable gimbals. Tim's going to walk us through that right now. Here we go, sir. How's it going? Excellent. So tell us what you want to tell us about the Autel Evo 2. Of course. So we're super excited here at CES 2020. We are announcing that we have the Evo 2. So that base model one has got an 8K camera, which seems absolutely crazy to be on your entry level. Uh, but it's not entry level at all. Uh, a pro could use that kind of kind of drone. From there, you step up into Evo 2 Pro which is your one inch sensor with a uh, 6K resolution, adjustable aperture, get a couple more features inside there. And then the top one is really for like your industrial professionals, first responders, uh, and you're gonna be looking at the Evo 2 Dual, which has a 640 by 512 thermal camera, a couple other options inside there, but it also combines the same 8K sensor that you find on the standard Evo 2. So it's really like a super powerful mix. And then everything about this drone has been updated and changed hardware wise. So now we're getting 40 minute uh, flight time, 35 Five minutes at a hover. We're getting over uh, eight kilometers of range, up to nine kilometers of range now. And then also the biggest thing is our obstacle avoidance. We have 12 computer vision sensors all the way around. So that's front, top, left, right, back, and bottom. But it's not just like an IR sensor. We're actually powering all those cameras with a dual core processor and uh, machine learning. So now we're getting real-time obstacle avoidance where you can go around trees, under branches, up and down hills, all that kind of stuff. So you can focus a lot more on having fun or going to the places that you want to go and with the drone, actually act as a drone and help you out. Walk us through the price points. Sure thing. So price points for uh, Evo 2, the 8K, which is the base one, uh, is going to start at $14.95. From there, you've got the Evo 2 Pro at $17.95. And then the tool is a little bit different just because of ITAR regulations. There's a lot of different options for paperwork. So we definitely suggest you guys just contact us and we can start that process on that. Okay guys, we are finally back from Las Vegas and CES 20 and finally over the jet lag, getting the first of our videos up and the most important video for us to get up is this one that you're watching right now, all about the Autel Evo 2 that was released uh, at CES. And just gonna quickly run over the three versions of it that Tim talked about, give you the quick spec and the price point. And then we'll talk about uh, some of the other features that we've got uh, as well. So Autel Evo 2 base has a half inch sensor all three versions shoot video at 120 megabits per second write speed. The base model has 8K, priced at $14.95. Autel Evo 2 Pro shoots uh, with a one inch sensor. Again, 48 megapixel stills, 120 megabit per second write speed. Also has an adjustable aperture. That one's priced at $17.95. And the third and top tier one is the Autel Evo 2 Dual. And that combines the base model's 8K sensor with a thermal FLIR sensor. Um, lots of paperwork and restrictions on what you can and can't do with that one. So uh, with the technology, it's priced uh, probably closer to $8,000. We can't wait to see these things shipping probably towards uh, late February would be my guess. The demo versions they had at CES literally came right off the production line. Uh, 12 omnidirectional sensors everywhere around this drone. It is an, a monster for obstacle avoidance. Absolutely mind-blowing what this thing can do. Flight time of 40 minutes, 35 minutes of hover, and transmission range of eight to nine kilometers. Um, we're so excited for this uh, drone because as you know, with the uh, Mavic 2 series, the first question everyone had was, are the gimbals gonna be interchangeable? And with the Autel Evo 2, the interchangeability is so simple. 
four screws, one ribbon connection, and that's it. You remove the gimbal. I don't have one here, but I'll... Uh, there's uh, two prongs that stick out the front of the gimbal. They go into a... Uh, the pins stick into a receiver inside the drone body. Connect your two screws, connect your ribbon cable. Two more screws puts the plastic clip back on top of it. And like that, you've swapped gimbals. So, absolutely incredible drone. Thanks for watching, guys. We have a ton more videos coming up, not just on the other drones we saw, like the V-Copter and the Swell and an underwater drone. Uh, we actually took the Mavic Mini up to Red Rock Canyon. We missed Casey Neistat by, like, I think 30 minutes. Uh, he was up there with an F1 driver. And we've got some great comparison uh, photos and video using the Mavic Mini up in Red Rock Canyon, just west of Las Vegas. So, like and subscribe, guys. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.